welcome to my house and I miss you guys a lot. This is uh, I'm Mr. Simmons from uh, MLK Preschool. I'll be reading Abby Yo Yo by Pete Seeger's stories on um, illustrations by Michael Hayes. It's based on a South African lullaby and folk story. I'd like to thank my friend Bernard for accompanying me. Maybe we can get through a song at the end. Abi Yo Yo. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who played the ukulele. Around town he'd go, clink, clonk, clonk, clink, clonk. The grown ups would say, take that thing out of here. Not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a magician. He had a magic wand. He'd go zoop, zoop, and make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He'd come up to some, uh, someone about to drink a nice cold glass of something, zoop, the glass disappeared. Someone doing a hard job of work. Zut, zut, zut. Up comes the father with his magic wand. Zoop, no saw. He'd come up to someone about to sit down after a hard day's work. Zoop, no chair. People say to the father, you get out of here too. You, your magic wand and your tricks and you and your son just get. The boy and his father were ostracized. That means they made him live on the edge of town. Now, in this town, they used to tell stories. The old people used to tell stories about a giant that lived in the old days. They used to tell stories about a giant called Abi Yo Yo. They said he was as tall as a tree and he could eat people up. Of course, nobody believed the stories, but they told it anyway. One day, one day, the sun rose blood red over the hill. The first people got up and looked out of the window. They saw a great big shadow in front of the sun. They could feel the whole ground shake. Women scream, strong men fainted, run for your lives, Abi Oyo's coming. He come up to the sheep pasture, he grab a whole sheep, yelp. He come up to the cow pasture, he grab a whole cow, yelp. Men yell, grab your most precious possession and run, run. Just then, the boy and his father woke up. Hey, Pa, what's coming over the field? Why, son, that's Abi Yo Yo. Oh, if I can only get him to lie down, I can make him disappear. The boy says, Come with me, Pa. He grabs his father by the one hand. He, the father gets the magic wand, and the boy gets his ukulele, and they run across the field. People yell, don't go near him. He'll eat you alive. <laughs> there was Abi Yo Yo. He had long fingernails because he never cut them. He had slobbering teeth because he never brushed them. He had stinking feet because he never washed them. He had matted hair because he didn't comb it. He raised up with his claw. Just the end, the boy whipped out his ukulele and says, Abi yo yo, Abi yo yo, Abi yo yo. Well, you know, that giant had never heard a song about himself before, and a foolish grin spread over his face, and the giant started to dance. Ah, be yo yo, 
Abiyoyo, Abiyoyo, Abiyoyo. The boy went faster. Abiyoyo, 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 yo yo yo, Abiyoyo, yo yo yo, yo yo yo. Abiyoyo, Abiyoyo, Abiyoyo. The giant got out of breath. He staggered and fell down on the ground, flat. Up stepped the father. Zoop! Zoop! People looked out of their windows. He's gone. Abiyoyo's disappeared. <laughs> the people ran across the field. They lit the boy and his father on their shoulders. They said, come back to town and bring your dawn ukulele. We don't care anymore. And they all sang, Abiyoyo, 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 Abiyoyo. And they still sing that little song till this day. Abiyoyo. Hopefully, I'll get to another story soon. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. You think about those students, aren't you?